Hello my soccer universe, first Premier League review video of the new season. We had 10 games and we could overreact on every single one of them, but let's not. Let's just talk about these games and maybe we can already see a few tiny trends, but not more than that. Well, I mean, one trend is of course that Newcastle look absolutely terrific and Sandro Tonali still hurts that he left Milan, but you know, I'm happy if he's doing well. Uh, was the first the fastest Italian to score in the Premier League and that midfield looked actually quite good, gotta say. Um, we also saw that there are some teams that still need to have business done. Most notably, uh, of course, Chelsea and Liverpool who definitely needed some defensive midfielders. Well, Chelsea took care of it and got both candidates that these two teams uh, were looking for in Moses Casado and La Romeo Lavia, which I think is really, really, really weird. But before that, um, I want to quickly say how I want to do things this season. I probably will do one or two uh, review videos outside of the Austrian League uh, this season per week. Um, and for the remainder, I actually want to give you just post with some quick thoughts uh, on my community page. I think that's probably the best way to do it. That also will keep the videos a teeny bit shorter i hope if i only talk about the most important events i would say we go through the games i was kind of not surprised that burnley uh lost to manchester city i was just hoping that they give them a little bit more fight but after four minutes holland had made it one nil he doubles the lead and i lost interest in the game to to to, to be honest it was interesting to see the dressing down a little bit that Guardiola gave Haaland at halftime, just because Haaland was a little bit too upset, blah, 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 all by the side. And then uh, City added a third one. It was that easy. And then, yeah, red card for Sakuri, which was also deserved. Um, but, you know, uh, it's really hard to judge Burnley on that performance because uh, City are just in a different league. Arsenal actually had also very much the game under control, scored two first half goals, the one by Saka, an absolute brilliant shot. Um, however, Avani in the 82nd pulls one back and suddenly it was a teeny bit tighter than one might have expected, but I think Arsenal also looking overall quite good and yeah, City and Arsenal probably seem to be at this early, early, early stage in, in, in the league, the two teams that look uh, like the only realistic title contenders, but everything can change. Um, of the uh, of the afternoon games um, on Saturday, I think the one that stood out is Brighton's 4-1 win over Luton. Uh, not that it was that unexpected, uh, un that unexpected because we know uh, that Luton is probably going to have a hard time adjusting to the Premier League. And Brighton have been a really good team, but there were some really nice um, uh, plays in there. Uh, um, uh, Soli March, Joao Pedro, Adingra and Eva Ferguson scoring the four goals for Brighton with uh, Morris with a penalty cutting down the lead. Um, Palace getting an away win, I think is a good result. Fulham also getting a away win and West Ham had the lead but Bournemouth actually played quite well, probably would have deserved more there. Uh, as I said, Newcastle, that is the standard result of the weekend 5-1 over Aston Villa, an Aston Villa team that everyone thought, yeah, they might actually play a role in the in this league as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was comprehensive. I think it was the biggest loss for Una Emery uh, in the league or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, I know he, he lost a big one in Barcelona a few years ago, but that's beside the point. Sandro Tonali, as I said, 6th minute, already 1-0. Uh, Musa Diaby gets an equalizer, but then Isak, another sublime finish, uh, makes it 2-1. And yeah, the game was probably tighter than the scoreline, and it got really out of hand when Isak uh, and Callum Wilson and pulled it to 4-1, and late on, it was a 5-1 through Harvey Barnes uh, there. Uh, Brentford Tottenham was a very, very, very entertaining first half uh, where Christian Romero gave after Madison assist, who looks good. And, you know, we, this is the first game for Tottenham without Harry Kane. So uh, the Premier League loses one of the bigger, uh, biggest faces, if you like. Christian Romero gives Spurs the lead uh, with Madison assisting. 
but it also has to come off a little bit later and it may have been a little bit of break in this uh, uh, Spurs side. Um, Wemo with a penalty equalizes and then Visa even gives Brentford the lead. And honestly, Spurs were probably a little bit lucky to get uh, the equalizer for Emerson Royal in a long stoppage time. And this will be a hallmark of the season. Hopefully not as much as we fear, because you remember at the World Cup, we all had these huge stoppage times and then it all came down. And I really hope this will come down too, because it's a little bit annoying to, be, uh, to, to sit so long at a game, which uh, completely defeats for me the purpose of watching evening games because kind of 11 o'clock you wanna be done let's see however Spurs go back to 2-2 uh, second half it was then not so great anymore in fact I actually nodded off on that game but I was all there for Chelsea Liverpool which was uh, had a very similar feel it was a very uh, frantic first half with uh, both teams uh, choosing a very attacking lineup with no defensive midfielders, so there's no stability in there. It's exactly what showed. Liverpool were better for the first quarter, if you would like, uh, with Salah playing a brilliant pass across to Luis Diaz, uh, making it one nil. He already hit the woodwork before that. He had a goal and disallowed for offside in the 29th. And that was kind of the breaking point, because up until that point, it was clear that Chelsea uh, is playing with Liverpool, but they're also a little bit on the back foot. Uh, and then they got back into this game with Enzo Fernandez running actually the show quite uh, nicely. This is he gets an equalizer uh, where Soboschlight does not clear very well a corner. Uh, falls to Chilwell who plays it to CCC and uh, gets an equalizer. And then just a few minutes later, Chilwell seemingly had made it 2-1. However, that one was called back also for offside. So we had two goals given, two disallowed. Um, it was really entertaining stuff. Um, oh, 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 there, especially at the end of the first half, you really had 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 the Chelsea had Liverpool on the ropes when before it was kind of the other way around. So good stuff. Uh, but both teams definitely need work. Second half, there's really not that much talk to talk about there. Uh, yes, both teams probably could have found on the winner. Maybe the most noble was the how uh, upset Salah was at his. Uh, uh, being substituted but yeah we have to see how Liverpool and Chelsea will develop as I said Chelsea have signed some big players and then yesterday in the evening uh, oh, almost a scandalous performance by United and the referee uh, yeah United had more control of the game however the chances all fell to Wolves uh, who should have taken the lead through Mateusz Cunha United then end up taking the lead through Rafael Varane in the 76th minute. Um, I think it was a, a nice financial pass to Van Bissaka who then lobs it over to Varane. But that uh, was already a little bit against the run of play. But what made it even worse is Sasha Kalajic who came on after a long in injury list is you know, wrestled down by Onana in the, in, in the box. It should have been a penalty any day. It looked like a penalty. It had to be a penalty. How VAR did not have um, the ref go over to watch this on the screen is beyond me. This should have been a 1-1 uh, or, you know, should have been a penalty and maybe from there it's 1-1. Wolves would have deserved more out of the game and United again, beginning of the season, don't look all that good. That will be an interesting point. To watch as well. After the first round, the um, standings don't say much, so I just leave it there. It's still uh, City's League to lose. And then uh, I give you also the next round. As I said, I will be on vacation, so uh, as soon as you will get another Premier League win, it's probably in two to three weeks. So let's see. But uh, West Ham Chelsea looks like an interesting uh, one in there, and of course, Spurs United. So on that one. Any case, let me know what you thought about uh, what happened in the Premier League. Give me, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.